Hello and welcome to Richmond TV's Community Focus. I'm your host, Jason Robbins, and we have a great show lined up for you. We have the Richmond Area Historical and Genealogical Society here today to talk to us about their upcoming programs. Thank you, Mary Ellen, for joining us. Thanks for having me, Jason. Anytime, thank you. So uh, first up, let's start. You have uh, two major programs coming up, the um, Ancestral Journey and the Cemetery Walk. Let's talk about Ancestral Journey first. Well, that program um, is being presented by Doug Rasmussen. He is a native of Richmond. He graduated from high school in 1958, and he wrote a book about his ancestry. He is related to the Fletchers. Mm. Uh, he's actually a grandson of John Guy Fletcher. He'll be talking about the Fletcher genealogy in the book. He'll also be giving us tips and ways of researching our own genealogy and things that would help us to make it a little easier on that journey. Okay, so the program isn't necessarily just about uh, about the journey he made while doing his ancestry. It's about trying to get other people to do their their own journey on it. Correct. He goes through his journey, some of the things that he learned, the pitfalls that you can avoid, mm. that he learned through his experiences, and that will be helpful to everyone. Okay. Now, when is this? Uh, when is this program? This is going to be on Thursday, September twenty-third. It's going to be at the community center at seven o'clock. It's open to the public, and it's free to the public. He'll also have his book there for sale, mm -hmm. and he is generously going to be donating the proceeds from that book to the society. So, uh, to, to talk a little bit about Doug. Where is he from? The Richmond area. He is. Um, his family grew up in Richmond. Also, his mother was a Fletcher, mm -hmm. um, and his father was Ken Rasmussen. And Ken was the local pharmacist. And many of us, even at my age, mm -hmm. um, remember Ken in the pharma in the pharmacy that he had. And he also had a soda fountain in the pharmacy. Mm -hmm. uh, Ken was very involved in community projects uh, throughout his lifetime in Richmond and I think he instilled a lot of those qualities in his children. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to bring up about the Ancestral Journey pro uh, program? I think that pretty much covers it. I think it's going to be very interesting. Um, in his book, he not only talks about his journey, but he talks about growing up in Richmond mm -hmm. and some of his fond memory, memories of being in Richmond and the different things that he participated in. So I think that not only the ancestral journey that he's sharing, but also his lifetime in Richmond will be very interesting to anyone who attends, probably especially those who also grew up in Richmond. <laughs> right. So uh, now you have your uh, you have your yearly program. Um, we're still calling things yearly because last year didn't count. Um, <laughs> we kind of want to forget about that, don't we? I think we all do a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so uh, the historic cemetery walk. Uh, this is the fourth annual. Yes, it is. Um, but this one is happening a little bit earlier this year. It is. Uh, we've had it in October in the past, and it seems like we always have a weather issue on mm -hmm. that particular day. So we thought we'd move it up a few weeks, see if we might get a little better weather. And we're very excited to have it back this year after having canceled it last year. So this is our fourth annual. Mm -hmm. It's at the City of Richmond Cemetery again, and it is on Saturday, September 25th. Now, for someone who hasn't uh, who hasn't been there or watched the uh, watched the program that we put out uh, every year for it, um, what happens there? Well, we try to sell tickets in advance. You can still get them the day of, but we set it up so that people move in groups every half hour. So we start at one o'clock. The first group goes out at one. The second group one thirty, all the way up until three o'clock. Uh, at this time, we don't have anyone scheduled for three o'clock, so we're trying to fill in the rest of those slots prior to three o'clock so that you know the actors that are there have, mm -hmm. a, have a chance to get a little relief, I guess, because it's, it's pretty active that whole time mm -hmm. that, that people are going on the walk. We have uh, guides assigned to each time slot so that when if you're in the one o'clock time slot, you will have a guide that takes you through the entire walk mm -hmm. from site to site. And we have some great individuals this year that we're going to be portraying. Okay. Um, who, are, who are you going to be portraying? Well, first we're starting with the Hall family and um, Mrs. Uh, Daniel Hall, who was Sarah Norton Hall, will be at the 
Hall gravesite along with her daughter, uh, Carrie Hall Mills, mm -hmm. who lived in Richmond her entire life into her 90s. So we'll have two people at the first site. From there, we'll we travel to the Quick gravesite, um, and Glenn Quick and his wife Carrie will be portraying James and Adela Quick. And the Quick family also has a long history in Richmond and many of them were involved in delivering of uh, mail mm -hmm. to the local communities. Ken Rasmussen, mm -hmm. who is the father of Doug Rasmussen, will be portrayed by Dr. Patrick McClellan, mm -hmm. who also worked with Ken uh, when Ken was um, a pharmacist in, in <laughs> Richmond. So. Then we go to the Fletcher family, again related to Doug Rasmussen, and the Fletcher uh, family, um, is, there's going to be two people at that gravesite, Pat Bartasowitz, and she's going to share with us the Fletcher story. And then Marsha Fletcher will be portraying uh, Mother Lois mm -hmm. and talk about uh, the greenhouse business that they had in Richmond, which many of us remember, and they became quite well renowned for their geraniums. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, we have Ben Bolt and Mary Lou Bolt. Um, again, I think people will remember the two Bolts. They were educators in Richmond, mm -hmm. and the football field at Richmond High School was named the Ben Bolt Field, I believe. Um, and interestingly enough, our current football coach, Sean Misko, will be portraying Ben Bolt, and Lucia Marshall will be Mary Lou Bolt. Okay. Uh, th that sounds like a, a jam-packed day for that. Uh, for all that. It is. It is. I, I, uh, I'm predicting that the walk is probably going to take about an hour, an hour and 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So how do you choose, every uh, every year, how do you choose which uh, which former Richmond residents you're going to be, uh, uh, you're going to be covering? Well, we try to vary it, actually. We try to get some of the early settlers and then along with some more recent residents so that you get kind of a scope of the history mm -hmm. of the area from the very early beginnings until people that came later mm -hmm. um, into Richmond and what that town looked like and what life was like and the things that they did in the community. Okay. Um, so uh, you mentioned tickets. How much are tickets? Tickets are $15. Um, five and under is free. And it really is designed to be a learning experience, an educational experience for everyone who is there. Um, and then, so it's going to be on uh, the uh, at the cemetery that's on M19 and 33 Mile. Yes, the City of Richmond Cemetery, um, across from the Kate's Funeral Home. Okay. Um, I would like to mention that our sponsor um, for this event is the Rewalk Peshik Funeral Home. Okay. Uh, Trent Peshik has been very generous every year with us in helping us put on this event. So we do want to thank him for his continued support. All right. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, we would like to see everyone there. I do know that there is a Richmond class reunion going on the same day as the cemetery walk. So if all of those people attending that class reunion would like to buy tickets and join that three o'clock tour, we'll keep that three o'clock open if we have 10 people in it. That sounds good. We'd love to see them there. Right? <laughs> all right. Thank you, Mary Ellen, for joining us today and uh, for coming on the show and talking about these events. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me, Jason. Anytime. Anytime you guys have new events, come. Uh, make sure you come on the show. We have another one coming up in November. We'll talk about that at another time. Sounds good. All right. Very all good. Right. You can find uh, all the information for the Richmond Area Historical and Genealogical Society on their website, uh, richmondhistory.org. You can uh, also, for tickets for the cemetery walk, you can also contact Mary Ellen at 586-808-2953 or email at mlogan. 5477 at sbcglobal.net. If you're watching this on YouTube, we'll include all the links and uh, links in the description below, so you can find your way very easily. Um, you can check us out on our on our YouTube channel, Richmond TV 12, and you can also view us on um, Comcast Channel 6 in the within the Richmond area. Thank you for joining us, and have a great day.